Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercies that are new every day. We thank you for this new day that you have given us, a day that you have made. You said we should rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Lord, for the breath of life because we breathe your breath, O oh Lord. Your word says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. We are in the land of the living. So we have come to worship you, to praise you, and to seek your face. Show us your glory, O oh Lord. And let the dews of heaven, let it bring us a refreshing this morning. Thank you, Father, because you love us. Thank you for you are with us. Thank you for you are within us. Speak to us this morning, Lord, and let us hear you and give us the grace to follow your precepts. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Good morning again and welcome to today's morning devotion. We are created for one thing, created to praise God. So let's go now and worship his majesty.
Hallelujah. We need the Holy Spirit. It is now time for our general prayers. We all know this week is Pastor's Appreciation Week, so we continue to pray for our senior pastor and his family to honor him. Now let's welcome our own sister, Sister Lydia, as she leads us in prayer. Good morning. Today in our prayers, in our general prayers, we will pray for Pastor Tunji's ministry. Today, we'll pay, pray for the ministry. In our first prayer, we'll say, let us thank God for Pastor Tunji and his ministry and the ministry he has committed into his hands. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Our Heavenly Father, this morning, we thank you for Pastor Tunji. We thank you for the ministry that you have committed into his hands. My God, we thank you, our Lord Jesus Christ, because you have enabled him and you have counted him faithful by putting a ministry into his hands, O oh God. And Father, as you have put him in this ministry, you are the one that sustains, you are the one that guides and leads. And so we thank you, my God, 
Your word says, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so right now, God, as we appreciate our pastors this week, Father, we thank you for Pastor Tunji's ministry. We thank you, God, for the ministry that you have committed to him, O oh Lord. And we pray that, God, your mighty hand continue to enable him as you have counted him faithful to serve you in this work of the ministry. Thank you, God, for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. In our second prayer today, we'll say, Father, forgive Pastor Tunji of his sins. Let his iniquities pass from him. Roll away his reproach and give him a, cha a change of garment and prosper his ways in the ministry. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, today we ask that God, as we present Pastor Tunji to you, O oh God, may you forgive his sins. May you let all his, his iniquities pass from him, O oh Lord. May you roll away any shame, reproach, O oh God. And God, we ask that, God, you give him a change of garment, O oh God, change of raiment, O oh God. And may you prosper his ways in the ministry. Your word says, and the Lord said unto Joshua, this day have I rolled away the reproach of Egypt from off you. Wherefore, the name of the place is called Gilgal unto this day. And Father, we pray the same for Pastor Tunji, that you will roll away any shame, any reproach, O oh God, that is upon him. And the Lord Jesus, today you will give him a change of garment, O oh Lord. We ask, O oh Lord, even as your word says in Zechariah 3, 4, and he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, behold, I have caused your iniquity to pass from you. I will clothe you with a change of raiment. Father God, today we pray the same for Pastor Tunji. We ask that God, you give him a change of garment. You clothe him even with Christ, oh God, with the beauty of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh Lord, as he works the work of, of God, the Lord, as he serves you, that Father God, he will be clothed in righteousness, in goodness, in mercy, in kindness, in peace, and in prosperity, oh God, that Father, this will be the clothing that you will clothe him, oh God, that you will glorify yourself through him, O oh Lord, as he serves you. In our third prayer today, we'll say, today let us lift up Pastor Tunji's ministry before the Lord, asking for forgiveness to every disobedient act to divine instruction, and asking the Lord to purge it of every sin and iniquity, washing it clean by the blood of Jesus. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, today we lift up Pastor Tunji's ministry before you, God. We ask that in any way that he has not followed divine instruction, any act of disobedience, O oh Lord, in the work of the ministry, that God, today you will forgive him of all those sins, O oh God, you will cleanse him from it, God. Father, we ask that you purge him, O oh Lord, of every sin and iniquity, washing him clean by the blood of Jesus Christ. We ask, O oh Lord, even as your word says in Psalm 51, verse 7, purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from Hide thy face from my sins and blot out my iniquity. Father God, today we ask, O oh Lord, even as your word tells us in Psalm 51 verse 7, that God, today you have cleansed Pastor Tunji, that you will wash him whiter than snow, O oh Lord, that you will cause him to hear joy and gladness, that Father, any areas in which anything has been broken, his bones have been broken, O oh Lord, things that have not worked out, that today he will rejoice, O oh God, and that Father, today you will blot out all iniquity from him. I thank you, God, and I honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. In our fourth prayer today, we'll say, Father, visit Pastor Tunji's ministry, renewing the vision and establishing the work with revived strength and great grace in Jesus' name. Let us pray. 
our Heavenly Father, today as we lift up Pastor Tunji. May you visit Pastor's ministry again, O oh Lord. May you renew the vision that he has, O oh Lord, for his, for his ministry, for his church, even for this platform, O oh God, for every activity in the ministry. May you renew that vision, O oh God, that you have given him. May you establish the work, Father. May you revive strength in every area of weakness. May you cause, O oh Lord, even power to be injected into every project, every activity that you have guided him to participate in and to to lead and to, to organize and to plan, my God, may there be great grace towards his ministry, even as you tell us in your word, and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. And Father God, we ask the same power that res resurrected Jesus from the dead, the same power that is greatly at work in each one of us, O oh Lord, that God, that that same power may be in every aspect of Pastor Tunji's ministry that you have led him to do, O oh God, because God, you established the things that you send us to do, O oh Lord. Your word says, and let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yeah, the work of our hands establish thou it, O oh Lord. I thank you. May the glory of the Lord refresh Pastor Tunji and God, may you renew his hands, O oh Lord. In our fifth prayer today, we'll say, Father, beautify and prosper Pastor Tunji's ministry. Announce him to the world in a new way afresh. Give wings to his ministry, spreading it across the land with power in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, may you beautify, may you prosper Pastor Tunji's ministry, O oh God. May you announce him to the world in a new way in a fresh way, O oh God. May you give wings to his ministry. May you spread him across the land, O oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, even as your word say, let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, O oh Lord. Father, we ask for that beauty, the beauty of the Lord our God, be upon this ministry, O oh God, the ministry of Pastor Tunji. May you establish everything that his hands are set to do, O oh Lord. May you establish it. May you establish the work of his hands, O oh Lord. As you said, O oh Lord, and the Lord said unto Joshua, this day I will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Father God, today we ask the same for Pastor Tunji, that God, you may begin to magnify him, O oh Lord, in the sight of all that hear him, that, that visit his ministries, that see his work, O oh Lord, that you may begin to magnify him, O oh Lord, that God, everyone that sees the work of his ministry may know, surely the Lord is with Pastor Tunji, that God, everyone may be able to recognize Jesus when they see the work of his hands. I thank you, God, for this, O oh Lord, I honor you. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. In our sixth prayer today, we'll say, we'll, we'll ask the Father to raise helpers of destiny for this ministry and to continue to strengthen him in all areas, helping him and giving him all around victory. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we ask today that God, may you send help us in the ministry, O oh God. Help us of destiny in the ministry for the ministry of Pastor Tunji, O oh Lord. Father, even though you call each one of us, Lord, you send people around us to help us. And Lord, today we ask the same for Pastor Tunji. That God, you continue to strengthen him in all areas, O oh God. That Father, you will send men and women, O oh God, and resources, all kinds of resources, O oh Lord, that will enable this ministry to be successful. Father, I, I pray even as you did in 1 Chronicles 12, 21, and they helped David against the band of the rovers, and they, for they were all mighty men of valor and were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, there came to David to help him until it was a great, great host, like the host of heaven, of God. 
Father, even as you gathered men around David day by day, sending him helpers, O oh Lord, sending him people, warriors, fighters, O oh God, people that assisted him even to build the kingdom. Lord, we ask today that for Pastor Tunji, you will do the same. You will send him men, helpers, O oh God, men of valor, O oh God, that God, he will have a great host like the host of God surrounding him and assisting him in the work of, men of the ministry. Even as you did in Luke 8, 3, the word says, and Joanna, the wife of Chooser, Herod Stewart, and Susanna, and many others, which ministered unto the Lord Jesus of their substance. God, your word shows us all the people that you sent to help in the ministry. And we ask today the same for Pastor Tunji. In our seventh and final prayer, we will say, let us ask our father to anoint pastor with fresh anointing that God's work will be powerful, powerfully evident both in his personal life and in the ministry in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, today we ask for a fresh anointing on Pastor Tunji. May you anoint him, O oh God, that the work of his ministry may be powerfully evident, O oh God, that even Jesus may be seen, the power of Christ may be seen in his personal life and in everything that he lays his hands to do, in everything that he does towards the kingdom of God to build the kingdom. Your word tells us, and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. Your word also says in Psalm 92 verse 10, but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil today, dear God. We ask that Pastor Tunji be anointed with fresh oil, O oh God. May you anoint him, O oh Lord. May you empower his ministry even more today. May you give him fresh strength, O oh God. May he be strengthened even by the hands of the Almighty God, strengthening his hands. God, we thank you, God. May you give him wings to fly. May you show him, O oh Lord, even greater heights of ministry. Even as you said in the book of Ezekiel, as, the, as you said to Ezekiel, come up higher the lord you will call him higher oh lord into greater things of god that he may be able to see even from where you see oh lord that you may anoint him that he may have power as he ministers oh lord even drawing men and women into the kingdom of god as you have commissioned each one of us that lord you will cause this to be seen as evidence in the work of pastor tunji because you says this signs shall follow them that believe God, we shall see those signs in Pastor Tunji's ministry. We honor you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank God for answered prayers. Thank you very much, our sister Lydia. Now we go to the reading of the day. Our reading this morning will be taken from the book of Numbers. So let's all together open our Bible to Numbers. Numbers chapter 6. Numbers 6. 22 to 27. Number six, 22 to 27. Let's receive our sister, Sister Candy, as she reads for us this morning. Good morning, God's people. Like she said, I'm reading from NIV version, number six, 22 to 27. And I read, the Lord said to Moses, tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless the Israelites say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. So they will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. God bless the reading in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you, Sister Kennedy. Proverb 4 says, my son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ears to my words. This morning, let us welcome and receive our senior pastor, Pastor Ola Tunji Adeyinka, as he brings us the charge of the day. Welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. God is good. Well, welcome again to this platform this morning. 
last form of expression. Uh, this many days of this week, I will be on the proclamation of blessings, which is my focus for this week, just to bless, you know. Uh, he said, I have received a commandment to bless. So today we start by unveiling the blessing. I remember I, I, I was, as people in church, you know, every, everybody worldwide knows that the Jews are a blessed people. Why? How come? Oh, they say, well, because, of course, with practical proof, a proof, but then people know that God blessed them. But when we come to, we as Christians, don't we also believe that we are blessed even much more? We see it with the Jewish people very clearly. They pretty much control economy, most of where they are. It's the same. In fact, the Bible says, Hebrews 8, verse 6. But now, as he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also is the mediator of a better covenant, which, is established, which was established upon better promise. The Bible talks of if the, if, if the manifestation of, uh, uh, of the glory of the wilderness was great, it said, how much more? The glory of today. God really wants us to know him and celebrate him as the almighty God. The one that is more than enough. The one that can care for you. The one that can take care of you beyond measure. That is if you have that sonship relationship with him. Because it's all based on that relationship. It's all by the blood. Without salvation. Everything rests on salvation. There are many people in the world today who want the goodness of God in their lives but don't have that right relationship with it. So it begins from that. Jesus said it, ye must be born again. That one is very clear. And every other thing rests on that. That launched us into a partnership with God. You know, God was saying that day, can I do this thing and not tell my my friend Abraham? It was because of the covenant he had with Abraham and because of the relationship he had with Abraham, because of the way Abraham worked with him. Even when he would destroy Sodom, he still remembered Abraham's uh, causes to, 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 to take him out of the place. So we, we have a great covenant with God. And she said, walk before me or walk with me. And that being settled, we know that it is those who walk with God that will walk in the blessings of God. Just charging us this morning. Because there's, there's, there's a base, there's a foundation on which the blessing can rest. He said he has remembered his covenant forever. He has remembered his covenant. When he came to rescue Isaac in Gera, he said, because of the covenant which I have with your father, the promise which I gave unto your father, Abraham. So when we have that on ground, the blessing can raise. What is the state of your heart? Then my son, give me your heart. And let your eyes observe my ways. Can God call you my son? Don't mind the gender in the world today. Can God call you my son? If that relationship is not there, then there is no base for the blessing to rest. That woman came to, to him. Master, my, 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 my daughter is sick. He said, well, I, I pity you, but you don't have the relationship. You don't have the bait. You can't take the children's bread and give it to dogs. 
So it's important that we get that straightened out with God. And as we do that, remember I said we are being citizens of the kingdom. A kingdom citizen works in love and lives by faith. Because law is the royal law of the kingdom. There are things that when they are in place, it enables the blessing to rest. Law is the royal law of the kingdom. Because everything hangs on it in this kingdom. To walk in the blessing. Because you have, oh, you need faith to collect great, but faith walked by love too. Fear not. It's a perfect law of cast out fear. Everything hangs on it. It is the love of God at work in us and through us that activates the law of the spirit of life, you know. It's not just a good idea to walk in love. It's not just a suggestion. It is law. Law. And love is the commandment of God. So you see, you have that relationship walking in love on both sides. You know, thou shalt love the Lord thy God and then love thy neighbor. He said, against such there is no law. In the spiritual world, everything, uh, it's not just anything goes. Guided by law, principle that we must walk in the law of love, the law of faith. Bible says, because without faith, it's impossible to please God. Even when the word of blessing is spoken to you, you still must be able to receive it in faith. By faith, walk in it. You say, could they not do many mighty works except save a few thick folds? Because they wouldn't believe it. Glory to God. Having said, I'm here this week to pronounce his blessings on us. Upon us. Numbers 23, verse 20. Behold, I have received, he said, commandment to bless. And he had blessed. And I cannot reverse this. You see, God will bless you. Great. But you see, those blessings still have to be pronounced by his agents for him to bless. Look at it. I have received commandment to bless, he said, and then he had blessed. The beginning of man was propelled by the blessing, which is divine empowerment, divine enabling. The beginning of man was, we know that very powerfully in Genesis. My bishop will always say, God does, God does not say thank you. God only blesses. Because the blessing of God is imposing, is forceful. When it is there, or when it comes, it subdues. The supernatural empowerment. that produces maximum. And we just read number six this morning. God said, speak unto Aaron and unto his son, say, and don't remember, those are his priests, those are his agents. Say to them, on this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel. Say in unto them. So you see the blessing is is in the faith. And when you go down the line, 
you know, says something significant that as you say these things, it means you shall put my name upon them, then I will bless them. But you say, I will bless them. I have received a commandment to bless. He has blessed. And I, I can do anything about it. Remember, Isaac blessed Esau. I mean, he blessed Jacob, thinking he was blessing Esau. And when he discovered it, he said, Who? Where is he that has come? And I blessed him. And yea, he shall be blessed. He, 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 has, he has heard it. Somebody will have to say, okay, don't worry, forget about that. You come, let me give it to you again. It doesn't work that way. Receive it this morning, or as we, and as we go throughout this week. That's all that I have with me this week, uh, for this week. If you have value for it, Bishop will always say the flow of uh, value will determine the flow of virtue. The angel said to Jacob, let me go. Ah, Jacob said, <laughs> you are talking to a wrong man. You are going nowhere except you bless me. Somebody could have said, well, bye-bye. Go back to where you came from. And somebody come visit me in the office. And she was so particular, just all over the place and all that. I left because she was in a hurry. And I said to myself, a lot of us don't just know God. He that believe it shall not make it. When he comes, he said, because somebody needed to see me. Uh, uh, I've told him, uh, uh, I will tell that person, please wait. I'm going to see a man of God. When I'm done, I will join you. But no, 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 no. So you 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 value that more than an encounter with God. I was just looking at you anything. Yeah, because I'm not going, you know. You will bless me first. Until you bless me, I'm not going. I know what I'm here for. So you see, the blessing itself don't just flow onto people anyhow. You value it, you desire it. And he called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coal, and that thine hand may be with me, and keep me from evil that he may not give me. And the Bible says, God, God granted him his request. And when he did that to the angel, and, uh, yeah, and the Bible says, And he blessed him there. If you have gone, you will go. Desire it. Let that word drop for me this week, Lord of Heaven. Let that blessing establish the way for me this week. Because just one word of encounter of the blessing can last a man is a lifetime. The blessing is in the same, the prophetic blessing. And because it's prophetic, not just a wishful talk, not just kind statements loaded with sentiment, supernatural, empowering, and goes a long way in determining people's destinies. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God always arranges things our way. <laughs> some miss it. That is, say some are busy somewhere else. But God always does. Is the master plan. There's that person that has the word to transform your destiny. You remember when Saul was going, he thought he was looking for his donkeys, father's donkeys. 
while he was roaming about from place to place, <laughs> God was speaking to Abraham concerning him. I mean, sorry, Samuel concerning him. Say, at this time, in today's time, I'm sending a man to you, and this is what you would do for him. So God, messengers, prophets, pastors, ministers are agents through which God impacts us with what he has for us. So somehow, he made sure he got Saul there. And while Saul was still busy about thinking it was Donkey that brought him to, to, to somewhere, somewhere said, relax. When you have been hungry for three, how many days? The best of meal has been waiting for you here. God arranges that. God does that. This is just a week of blessing. That's how I felt it from two weeks ago, and that's how it's, we are going. Maybe for you, maybe for somebody else, but that's how we are going. So you set your heart. Remember, it's the blessing of the Lord that make it rich without sorrow. Abraham Salman said, the Lord has blessed my master greatly and he's become wealthy. The international version. The Lord has blessed my master greatly and he's become wealthy. The blessing of God makes the blessing of God makes things happen for you. Because when you spoken, you receive it events within <laughs> it's a it's creative in nature it's creative in nature things go and begins to move things move men move situation move nation and fulfilling it glory to god i will start today by significantly Echoing that number six that we just read. Oh, somebody said, well, it's been written. We've read it so many times. But not like today. Because today it is being given to you. It is being given to you. It's just like when Jesus, the Lord Jesus was teaching them on uh, what we call the Lord's Prayer today. The Lord teach us to pray and he said, after this man I pray he. Model. I felt strong to go to proclaim and pronounce that same model as it is. His word is ever complete, every time. Even if it's in a statement, because the word of God is creative in nature. He says, Say to them, so I say to you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. <laughs> give you peace. He said, he said, peace I give to you. He said, listen to me, not the kind that the world gives. No, 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 no. The kind that the world gives is not imposing. His own is imposing. <laughs> the Bible says, when he gives quietness, who then shall make trouble? So I say to the raging storms and waves of your life, peace. He said, when the, 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 the storms came, came <laughs> and troubling the ground, he spoke calmness and there was calm. I say to that, those raging waves all around you attempting to swallow you, peace to 
He maketh the storm. That word make is, is a forceful and imposing word. It's a manufacturer's word. He said, He maketh the storm a calm. I speak calmness into your life today. It makes the storm a calm. Then are they quiet? He said, and he bringeth them to their desired heaven. I speak the calmness of God into the affairs of your life. Then give you peace. Peace is a very tough commodity in the world in which we are living in today. And that's the blessing of the Lord for you this morning. This of doing kind. Peace to you this morning. And you know, and in that same length he said, and shall, they shall put my name upon them. Upon the people of Israel and I will bless them. That's very significant. Because that name distinguishes you among men. The mark they put on you. It just distinguishes you. It's the kind that makes a thousand fall at thy right, right hand and ten thousand at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand and it will never come near you. Is that. And you shall put my name upon the people of Israel and I, God of heaven, will bless them. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, mark this one out this morning for divine intervention. I say it proclaim it this way. You are marked out for divine intervention that establishes favor for you. Favorable situation. <laughs> Glory to God. Say it again. Please know that being connected to this platform. This is your week of blessings. I have received a commandment to bless. And he has blessed. Even if I want, I can't reverse it, he says. Because when it's gone, it's gone. Glory to God. Abraham's blessing or blessing was a proof that God was real in his days. And I'm going to say something to you today that as you depart from here this morning, the reality of God in and around you will be more than evident for all to see the way they have never seen it before. Just by this blessing of God. Jesus is Lord. Well, it's the pastor's appreciation, but it's me blessing you this week. And I'm not doing it lightly. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Put your faith out. I met a young man some a few years ago. Blessed him. It was so strange. I was I went to preach in that country. It was I was in my hotel about to sleep in the night, and he came. They called me from reception. I said, "Look, I want to sleep." He said, "No, the only ghost asked me to see you." I know that. I know God connects people, so I said, "Okay, come." 
And I put the offering in my hand. I said, okay. And I said, his name is Johnny. Johnny, the Lord give you a thousand fold. And he drives truck, this big 18 wheeler truck. And in the truck park, you know, the way we have in Africa, we have the truck park. He started going there and telling everybody, I'm a millionaire now because Pastor Kunji blessed me. I'm a millionaire. And he was saying it to the embarrassment of the other believers who were there that they went to go and report him to his pastor. But within three months, I was there to dedicate his gas station with a three story office building shopping complex by the side within three months. And by then, he had two trucks of his own, what we call trailers. Within three months. And it was so, the way God arranges things is you can beat it. His pastor was my son, so he went with me. So when he was saying what he was saying, how people were talking about him in the past, the pastor said, Oh, you are the one. Some of my people came to tell me that there was a guy who just keep mentioning Pastor Tuji's name in the motor park. They should talk to him. You see, you have to receive it. You have to receive it. Don't be the religious ones that just say amen without opening their hearts to receive. Because if you receive, you will keep going saying it. That, that is what it is for you. Keep saying it to yourself throughout the day. That God has done this. This is what God has given me. I walk in it. Go in peace this morning. That's from viewing influence of calmness from above is what I give to you today. And you will see the troubling situation here. The raging waves are stopped. You will look for those things that makes your heart shake. You can find them. The peace of the Lord does that. Receive it in the name of Jesus. We'll continue with this tomorrow. Uh, Sister Winifred, please take over and close us. Jesus is God. Father, we thank you. We know that this month of October is Pastor's Appreciation Month. Therefore, Lord, just as He has blessed us, we pray that you will bless him in return. Thank you, Father, for Pastor Tunji as he has put together this program daily to refresh us. Water him back, O oh Lord, and may we be blessed back in return in hundredfold. Prosper all my brothers and my sisters that are online on this platform this morning. Strengthen every crooked part in their lives. Mm -hmm. The Lord show himself to, 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 to his children. Father, show yourself to us and let your glory be seen in our lives. Let us begin to walk in your ways. Help us, O oh Lord, in everything that we lay our hands to do so that we can begin to prosper. Help us, O oh Lord, justify us wherever we have been judged. The Lord bless us with the deals of heaven. The Lord make his light to shine upon us. We thank you, Father, because you are the omniscient God. Thank you for your doings in our lives. May your name be glorified forever and ever. Amen. Let us remember that this program runs Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. Mountain Time, and we shall return again tomorrow by his grace. Amen. Let's share the goodness together. Go in peace this morning. You are in goodness and mercy to goodness all, and us, all the days all of the our lives. And we and shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you. Jesus is Lord.